My name's Evan Lee, and I'm a visual artist. I started off um, very much interested in images and started making art when I was in high school. And I followed by going to university, uh, majored in fine arts, and learned very much about um, how ideas could be a big part of art as well. Uh, and also materials and experimenting with mat materials. So I'd say my practice today is kind of a equal mix of all of those things, images, um, materials, and ideas. We came up with the title Forge because it has this very interesting kind of paradoxical dual meaning. Um, so to forge something is to, to make something in this very, very kind of basic, almost uh, elemental way. And so, you know, there's something kind of genuine about that idea. And also forged obviously means counterfeit or when you forge a painting or something like that is to pass off something fake. So kind of like everything in the show is based around that double meaning. You have the real and the fake diamonds. You have shoe polish, which is um, basically like a, a veneer that you put on something to elevate its appearance. And then you have things like the noodles, which are imitation, you know, home cooked noodles that take hours to prepare, but instead you have this product that's, you know, ready in two minutes with just boiling water. So that sort of encapsulates the term forged. In terms of some of the materials that I used um, in the show, I think part of it came from looking around me and hearing stories about how things have to be done a certain way, um, certain types of materials have to be used, which uh, that totally makes sense to me in terms of like when I want something to last I really have to seek out how to find the right materials to make something last a long time um, but basically I, I wanted to be able to rebel against those ideas I guess and and be able to create something with whatever is around me some of the works are made um, other photographs are made with dollar store items um, I guess more accurately, they're scans made from dollar store items. And the interesting thing about that is, you know, some people can go to the dollar store and you can buy very inexpensive canvases and paints, watercolors, brushes, and that sort of thing. But I was also interested in other materials that are available at the dollar store. So, you know, actual kind of consumable items or decorative items. So in a way, I guess that adds an extra layer to the ready-made um, idea in art. So not only is it like, you know, these actual things that we use for consumption, um, but there are also these kind of imitations of things that we use for consumption that are available at the dollar store. It's like a, it's a whole new sort of different category of product, I feel like. And so that's why uh, I was interested in kind of assembling some of these objects to make the still lifes that I did in the show. I revisited the dollar store um, project in 2017, I believe, with the, the Hyakin studies. And I mean, I was asked to store, but I decided, well, I'm going to put a different spin on it because in that time, the dollar stores had kind of really evolved. And so you had all these Asian dollar stores and those were, well, they're two dollar products, but they're also very interesting products, too, um, because they were kind of very different idea of everyday stuff that's predominantly uh, targeted at Asian people. So I thought that it'd be interesting to compare the two types of still lifes that I could construct. In the show there's seven paintings that kind of look like black monochromes. So those monochromes are paintings made with only shoe polish painted onto panels and then shined to give different levels of um, luster. And the idea behind that was kind of related to some of the ideas around the dollar store, using everyday objects as materials for art, and discussions around economy and class. It's been a really interesting opportunity to do, to do the show because so many of the things are projects that I've done in the past and then revisited, or in some cases, um, they're projects that I started for the show and I already have plans to keep going with it. Um, just for example, you know, the dollar store still lives. I 
did in 2006 and then I revisited in 2017 I believe um, the Fugazi fake diamonds I started in around 2016 and then I picked up again in 2020 um, the noodles <laughs> there's another project that I did in around 2016 and did again and I'm sort of feeling like I'll always come back to some of these projects and some of these ideas um, and I guess time plays kind of an interesting role in them too because as the world changes I kind of start uh, being able to bring new things into these projects. So the same thing with some of the uh, the polish painting studies that's that's what they are in the show and so I'm, I'm hoping to continue working with uh, shoe polish as a painting medium.